Welcome to Kid's Story. Hey there, little ones. It's time for a bedtime story. And today's tale is about Elara and the dragon's egg. In a faraway kingdom, nestled between towering mountains and surrounded by dense forests, there was a peaceful village where people lived simple, happy lives. The villagers tended their fields, cared for their animals, and celebrated the changing of the seasons with joyful festivals. But there was one secret that lay hidden deep within the heart of the mountains, a secret that had been passed down through generations in whispers. And legends the dragon's egg. The dragon's egg was said to be a relic of immense power, an egg as large as a boulder, shimmering with every color of the rainbow. It was believed that whoever found the egg would possess the ability to communicate with dragons, creatures of ancient wisdom and untold strength. But the egg had remained hidden for centuries, guarded by the very mountains that cradled it, and no one had ever succeeded in finding it. In the village, there lived a young girl named Ilara, she was known for her adventurous spirit and her love for the stories of old. Her favorite tale was that of the dragon's egg, and she often imagined what it would be like to find it, to see a dragon up close, and to feel the warmth of its breath as it spoke in the ancient language of fire and wind. One day, while exploring the edge of the forest, Alara stumbled upon a hidden path that seemed to lead deeper into the mountains. The path was overgrown with vines and lined with ancient stones covered in moss. Something about it felt different, almost as if it were calling to her. Without a second thought, she decided to follow it, her heart pounding with excitement. The path wound its way up the mountain through narrow passes and along steep cliffs. The higher Alara climbed, the colder the air became, and soon she found herself surrounded by snow and ice, but she pressed on, driven by a sense of purpose that she couldn't quite explain. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the peaks, she reached the entrance of a vast cave. The cave was enormous, its walls lined with crystals that sparkled like stars in the dim light. Alara's breath caught in her throat as she stepped inside, feeling the ground beneath her feet vibrate with a deep, resonant hum. She followed the sound deeper into the cave, until she came upon a sight that took her breath away, a massive egg. Resting on a bed of shimmering crystals, glowing softly in the darkness. The dragon's egg was even more beautiful than she had imagined. It pulsed with a gentle warmth, and as she reached out to touch it, she felt a connection, as if the egg recognized her. Suddenly, the cave was filled with a low, rumbling voice. You have found me, young one, it said. But finding the egg is only the beginning. To awaken the dragon within, you must prove yourself worthy. Ilara was startled, but she quickly composed herself. What must I do? She asked, determined to succeed. The voice explained that she would need to complete three tasks, each designed to test her heart, her mind, and her courage. Only then would the egg hatch, revealing the dragon inside. The first task took Alara to the Valley of Shadows, where she had to navigate through a labyrinth of illusions. The shadows played tricks on her, creating false paths and imaginary dangers. But Alara remained calm, and used her keen sense of direction to find her way out, proving her sharp mind for the second task. Ilara had to climb the tallest peak in the mountains, 
and retrieve a single flower that bloomed at its summit. The journey was treacherous, with icy winds and slippery slopes. But Alara's heart was strong, and she refused to give up. After a long and grueling climb, she reached the top and gently picked the delicate flower. A symbol of her determination, the final task was the most challenging of all. Ilara had to face a fierce storm dragon that guarded the entrance to the ancient library of the dragons. The dragon was enormous, with scales like thunderclouds and eyes that flashed like lightning. But Ilara did not waver. She spoke to the dragon with kindness and respect, offering it the flower she had found. Moved by her bravery and sincerity, the dragon allowed her to pass, recognizing her as a true friend of the dragons. With all three tasks completed, Elara returned to the cave where the dragon's egg awaited. The voice spoke again, this time with warmth and pride. You have proven yourself, Elara. You are worthy of the dragon's gift. As the words faded, the egg began to glow brighter and brighter until it cracked open with a burst of light. Out of the egg emerged a baby dragon, its scales shimmering with all the colors of the rainbow. It looked up at Alara with curious, intelligent eyes, and she knew in that moment that they were bound by a deep and unbreakable bond. The dragon let out a soft, musical cry, and Alara felt its thoughts in her mind, a connection forged by her journey and the tasks she had completed. Alara returned to her village, the baby dragon perched on her shoulder, its presence a symbol of the extraordinary journey she had undertaken. The villagers marveled at the sight, and the legend of the dragon's egg took on new life as Ilara shared her story. She became known as the Dragon Keeper, a protector of the ancient bond between humans and dragons. And so, Alara and her dragon grew together, exploring the world beyond the mountains and bringing peace and wisdom wherever they went. They were inseparable, a testament to the power of courage, kindness, and the magic that lies within us all. Thank you for joining me today. And remember to follow and subscribe for more bedtime stories. Good night and sweet dreams.